Ten years ago, burgeoning singer-songwriter Alex Clare was given an ultimatum by his record label, commit yourself to the music fully, or follow your faith. He chose to follow his faith. The Londoner, who emerged from the same scene as his former girlfriend Amy Winehouse and Bastille, had recently pulled out of a potentially life-changing spring tour in support of new superstar Akel Bickelson of the Gibbs Bell around the Jewish holiday Passover, as well as on the Sabbath. They said, it seems like you're more into your religion than you are into your career. And that really wasn't the case, says the 36-year-old, who grew up in a secular Jewish family before turning to Orthodox Judaism in his early 20s. I really was focused on my career, but personal lifestyle choices, whatever they are, haven't always necessarily been so tolerated. I'm not unique. Historically this has been a running theme, not just for Jewish people but anyone who makes commitments elsewhere. He adds, when I signed, they knew that that was happening but they didn't quite understand how serious the rules of keeping the Sabbath are. And for some reason every piece of promo that came in was seeming to fall on a Friday night or Saturday morning, and I was turning down opportunity after opportunity. When it came to turning down Adele, as he couldn't make at least five of the tour dates, Claire laughs, they thought I was nuts. What was said to him ten years ago was wrong and does not in any way represent our views or policies. Down the years there have been many famous musicians who have turned to God, from Cat Stevens and Bob Dylan, to Kanye West and Sinead O'Connor. But after being dropped by his label, Claire pretty much gave up on music altogether. Until several months later that is, when the newly labeled Les Singer suddenly found himself with a hit on his hands. Too close his friend's own anthem from his debut album, began to work its way onto radio playlists and up near the top of the UK singles chart in April, 2012 thanks largely to an appearance on a Microsoft advert. At the 2013 Brit Awards the song was nominated for Best Single, a category which was won by, you guessed it, Adele with Skyfall. We have a saying in Hebrew called Gamzu El Tova, which means this too is good says Claire. We say that when something goes really badly wrong. It's like the most crazy statement to have enough faith and say, this right now is a really bad situation but ultimately God is good and life is good and this is for greater good whatever that might be. And in my case it really worked out that way. I got dropped by the label but months later I had a top 10 hit all over the world, selling platinum, and obviously got a much bigger record deal second time. The record deal in question again came courtesy of Ireland, a subsidiary of the Universal Music Group, who Claire says were very apologetic about what had happened when re-signing him. Nine years on, Claire is speaking to us around the release of his new single, Why Don't Why, another booming ballad which marks the end of his five-year hiatus from the soulless music industry he had become disenchanted with. Despite his relative success, Dr. Truck, released via the digital distributor Owen Earp is an ode to his wife, with whom he ran away to Israel in 2015, with their first film to focus on spirituality and study the Torah and the Talmud. The song is his way of encouraging her to properly acknowledge her feelings following the death of her grandfather around the same time that one of their children was sick in hospital just to say, it's okay to feel like you're allowed to have emotions, you're allowed to be a sensitive person, he explains. Some people are not necessarily taught how to express those feelings or have those feelings validated for whatever reason. Life is complicated and emotions are complicated. The musician, he plays bass and some drums on the new track, as well as delivering his usual soulful vocal, these days flicks between his home in Jerusalem and the UK for music-related commitments. Although recent work with collaborators, including songwriter and producer Jamie Hartman, was carried out online during lockdown. He's planning to release an EP of six or seven equally single-worthy songs early next year, which he will bring once again to the life stage, the place where he most feels he is fulfilling my life mission. While Judaism has a huge influence on my worldview, he notes, the songs themselves are not traditional Jewish songs, they are slow burning sap banners, told from personal experience. As a songwriter, you've got to channel your emotion or your empathy or your pathos, whatever it's going to be, without a filter, he says. The song is the filter. Claire's Perry comeback, as he puts it, has of course coincided with that of his nearly old tour mate Adele Dotty as his fingers crossed they are both returning to a more understanding and flexible music industry than it was when they were first coming through. I hope it has changed significantly, he says. I'm sure it has in the last 10 years but it's very fickle. 
It's very flavor of the month and just as someone can be out of favor one minute the next minute they can be back in. I hope people are more sensitive. Everyone really just wants to have their sense of oneness and sameness, that's what people relate to and what people connect to. And the more that we can see our similarities with each other, as opposed to all the divisions and things that separate us, the better. Hopefully we are making a better world. Why Don't YA by Alex Clare is out now. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.